Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the official press conference for our double header event that you'll see live here in Wollongong on Wednesday night, also on main event television, which is available on Foxtel and KO. An outstanding night of boxing that is coming back to Wollongong, our first show here with No Limit in quite some time. Really looking forward to seeing all of these fighters in action, and you can go and order the pay-per-view now ahead of what will be an outstanding night of fights. Headlines by the number one ranked super bantamweight in the world in Sam Goodman against the knockout artist Mark Schliebs, who's talked himself into this fight and has plenty believing he's a chance of an upset. We also have Isaac Hardman here, the head splitter. He takes on Andre Saavedra, who we get to lay our eyes on for the very first time here at the press conference today. And we've got a really exciting fight between a couple of former rugby league players in Curtis Scott and Joey Leilua, amongst others, on this undercard. Ben Damon is my name. Cannot wait to call the fights on Wednesday night. It's all brought to you by No Limit. George Rose is the boss there. George, how are you feeling about being back in Wollongong for the first time in quite some time? Well, look, mate, it's been nearly three years since we're here, and I remember the last time we were here, this venue absolutely erupted with a massive upset, uh, upset win for, for Paul Gallen over Lucas Brown. The crowd was nuts, the venue was nuts, and it's just good to be back here, and I'm glad that when we're coming back here, we're coming back with a local boy to headline it because the one thing that was missing last time we were here was a local champion. Now we've got one in Sam Goodman who will lead this card on Wednesday night. Yeah, a bunch of locals here. Sam Goodman you mentioned. We've also got Zeke Campbell who we'll talk to very shortly. Travis Druce as well lives just around the corner and down the road. I know there's plenty who are excited about his fight. We'll be hearing from both Travis Druce and Cohen Mazzutti. What do you make of that one, George? Look, I think it's a fantastic fight. It's a sleeper for fight of the night. You've got a guy in Travis Druce stepping up in opponents against Cohen Mazzutti. Carl Mazzuti has been the guy on the super welterweight scene for some time. We've got everybody, every man and their dog putting their hand up to try and fight Nikita Zoo to get that opportunity. Um, we saw a, a big upset win for, for Anton Markovic on, on last Wednesday night. He put his hand up for the fight. People are forgetting that Cohen's been that guy in this division for quite some time. And so if you want to you make a name for yourself in the Super World 2 division, Cohen's a guy that you need to be up against. And that's what Travis is doing now. He's putting his hand up. He wants this opportunity. It's a fight that could be the potential of fight of the night. Um, we've also got Zeke Campbell too, who's you know, he's very well touted, uh, welterweight, super welterweight division. So he's another guy putting his hand up and he gets opportunity to show off against his, uh, his hometown crowd. Hang on, George. Have you just soft announced that the winner of Mazudia against Drews is a really good chance of fighting against Nikita Zou? I'm saying that you've got to give Cohen the respect he deserves. You've got to give Travis the respect he deserves for taking this fight. And if you want to talk about people that are worthy of a fight against Nikita Zou, these guys are both worthy of it. So that's a yes. <laughs> I'm saying I won't say it's not okay. going to... The footy plays. Um, the fuse was lit on uh, Friday of last week. Uh, we had the, the face-off and various bits and pieces that came out publicly. Um, these two have started to talk and started to talk us into this fight. What are you expecting between Joey Leilua and Curtis Scott? Because everyone seems to have an opinion. Well, look, like I said, the last time we were here at Wynn Entertainment Centre, it was a former NRL player that stole the show who set the crowd alight. These guys have that opportunity to do the same. We're not looking for them to be pretty boxers. We're not looking for them to, to put on a skillful class. We're, we're, we're here to see them brawl. We're seeing, we want to see them get amongst it, get out there and absolutely rip in. And um, I, I've said a few times, every person in the NRL keeps talking about how Curtis Scott has got this fight no problems. They're backing Curtis every day of the week. And rightfully so. He's been training with guys like Brock Jarvis. He's been training for boxing for quite a couple of years now. But if you doubt Joey Leilua for one moment, I, I looked at him the other day. I reckon he's in better shape now than he was when he was playing footy. The only weight that he's put on is in his arms. I touched his arms the other day. They're freaking huge. You got three seconds out of your day today. Go and touch Joey Leilua's arms and tell me that you're not scared of getting punched by them. He's, he's, he's in great shape. I'm telling you, these guys are here to bang and if it goes past two minutes, I'll be shocked. I'll be absolutely shocked because I know as soon as one of them gets touched on the chin, they're letting it all loose. I don't know if Joey's all right with that, people queuing up to touch his arms here in Wollongong today. Touch his arms, I'm telling you. <laughs> touch his arms, they're huge. Curtis will get his opportunity to touch them on Wednesday night, but anyone else, 
touch them, they're big. <laughs> Speaking of huge, what about the man a couple of seats down from him? The first time we've been able to see him, Andre Saavedra. He's 15-1 and one as a pro. He went to the Olympic Games, an outstanding boxer, and he takes down our own Isaac Hardman this Wednesday night. He's a big fella. Yeah, look, I'm excited about this fight. And, and, oh, you know, they've been talking about how he's coming over here as a, as a, knockout, uh, a knockout king. You know, he's, you see the size of him, you can understand why he gets knockouts. He's a big boy. But you know what? If I had, a, if I had to pick one person that you were saying that we need someone to represent Australia to step in the ring pound for pound who can step up against a knockout artist and knock that bloke out, I'm picking Isaac Hardman every day of the week. You see his highlight reels, he knocks people out cold. He's got that in him. And, and you know, if someone's got to step up to the challenge, I know Isaac does every day of the week. He's the head splitter for a reason. He can hit, but he's up against a bloke who wants to take his head off and take everything from him. And, you know, when you're Isaac and you know that you've got a top five opportunity laying you know, just around the corner for you. You get a win here, put you in the top five in the world. You're putting everything on the line and I'm back in them hands every day of the week. 25 knockouts from the 30 wins between the pair in our co-main event. And that does take us to the main event. And George, you've got a job to do today because last time they came face to face, there was a slap and you were found wanting. What about today? Do you jump in and save the day or are you going to let violence ensue again? Look, I was not ready for that. I was not <laughs> ready. I, I didn't expect it. This, is, this fight has turned into the fight that... A fight that I didn't expect. When we were, we were picking uh, Mark Sleeves as an opponent for, for Sam Goodman, it's because he had that knockout power. It's, he, Sam needs something to prepare him for what lays around the corner for him. He's got in a way around the corner. He's, he's in a mandatory position that he's putting everything on the line for against Mark Sleeves. So to do that, you've got to put him in an uncomfortable position against a guy who can punch, a guy who can knock him out if he gets opportunity, but a guy who can also get, his, get in his head and make him feel uncomfortable. And that's what Mark Sleeves has done in everything leading up to this. He's making Sam feel uncomfortable. He's got knockout power. He's going to put Sam in a situation that we need him to be prepared for when he's at the world level that he is. Um, I didn't expect Mark to steal the, steal the show as much as he has. He's been, uh, he's been fantastic. He gets the memo. He knows what it means to be a pay-per-view star here in Australia, and he's taken it with both hands and, and put everything on the line. But Sam Goodman is a champion who's waiting for his world title belt. He already has a few belts in his, in his uh, trophy cabinet, but he's waiting for them world title belts, and he's risking it all in front of his hometown crowd here in Wollongong. And, uh, you know, it's not only an audition for Sam Goodman to, to let the world know that he's ready for that world title, it's also an, an audition for Wollongong to show the world how they make noise here, how they get behind their hometown champions and really put on a great show because we want to be able to bring a world title here next door. We want to fill out that stadium next door for Sam Goodman in a world title shot. And for that to happen, he has to beat Mark Schleves and he needs a Wollongong crowd to represent. Best place to watch it, of course, on the lounge, watching main event, but uh, if you can get along here to this venue, and what an outstanding venue it is, George, it'll be a pretty special night. Oh, get amongst it. I know I've just put the challenge out there to Wollongong to turn up, to, to put on a show, so if you come here, you're going to have a great night, absolutely a great night. Ticketmaster.com for tickets, um, but if not, tune in, tune in on KO main event when you knock off at work, you know, 5.30, first fight, so tune in. What else are you going to do on a Wednesday night? Kick back and enjoy some fights. Thank you, George. Yeah, 5.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. It'll all start on Fox Sports, available via KO as well. Then the main event uh, pay-per-view begins at 7 p.m. And we're going to talk to some of the fighters who are a part of that part of the broadcast right now. And one of them is a local in Zeke Campbell, who sits down the front here. He'll take on Laban Stringer. And that is a fight at Super Welterweight. Zeke, um, welcome. What an exciting big stage for you to be a part of. How do you feel being so close to home and, and on a big stage like this? Oh, it's an awesome opportunity. Like, big thanks to the boys from No Limit for giving me the opportunity to fight on such a big card. I'm ready to showcase my skills and show everyone that the Don's coming, next star coming up. So, yeah. Just 10 days ago, you fought and won. How are you feeling physically uh, going straight into another big fight like this? Oh, I'm feeling amazing. That was just a warm-up fight for this fight night. Got the job done, coming in Wednesday night, get another job done, send him home for loss, guaranteed. What do you know about Laban Stringer? He's had just the one professional boxing fight, but he's got an MMA history. What do you know about him? Oh, I don't really know too much. I've watched his last fight, studied it a bit. I know he comes forward, he's ready for war. He's put up a few stories saying he's coming for war, and I hope he's coming for war, because I'm bringing a war, and I guarantee it's going to be a cracker night, cracker night of fights, and I'm coming and I'm going to win. 
Thanks so much. That is Zeke Campbell. You'll see him in the very first of the pay-per-view fights on Wednesday night. Second up will be Kiki Latelli and Arsene Fosso at heavyweight. Can't wait to see Kiki Latelli back in action. And then third up at super welterweight. Now, it's a fight that George Rose has indicated maybe finds us our next opponent for Nikita Zhu. But let's see if that is the case. Travis Drews fights Colin Mazzuti. I'll start with Travis Drews. And I can start with the same question, Travis. So close to home and such a big event, you being from here in Wollongong. How does that feel? Yeah, I'm stoked to be here, like, especially in the hometown, bringing the crowd here and, um, you know, going up against a tough opponent and finally, like, ready for this step up. So grateful for the boys at No Limit for putting this on and, yeah, can't wait. We've all seen Cohen Mazzutti in recent years. He's been a fixture in Australian boxing for quite some time. You've had just the five professional fights. Tell us about your boxing journey and why you're ready for a fight like this. Oh, uh, look, like, we both come up through the amateurs together and, like, I kind of know my past, he knows his. So, like, I've going through the five fights, like I know what, like what I'm up against and yeah, I'm keen. Keen to just show that I'm up for the next level. Plenty of people are excited about this fight and just don't know quite what to expect. When you've looked ahead to your fight with Kyle Mazzuti, what do you see? Oh, like, it's just, just a style matchup, really. Like, he's, he's his style and I'm, I'm, I'm my style. So, like, this is what makes it a great fight and I'm keen for it. Thank you to Travis Drews. I'll go now to Cohen Mazzuti. Cohen, great to see you again. This is such an important fight for you against a 5 0 fighter on the big stage again. A loss has to be unthinkable, doesn't it? When you say unthinkable, yeah, I haven't thought of it, to be honest with you. Like, um, you know, I appreciate Travis stepping up with play, but I do think he's jumping a few levels, so I'm looking forward to making a statement this time. Yeah, is that how you feel about it? A 5 0 fighter doesn't quite deserve to be in a fight like this against you at this stage? Not, not well deserved, you know, like we're all, I respect everyone up here, everyone gets in this ring as a warrior, uh, that's why people tune in to see this, you know, bloodbath that we put on, anyone that is up here deserves to be in the ring, but I just think it is a step ahead, you know, from where he's at. I actually got to commentate his last fight, got a front row seat, so I sort of know what I'm looking at here, and, you know, he looked, looked pretty showy and pretty flashy and having a bit of fun in there with a guy from PNG that had basically never laced a pair of boots, so we'll see how much fun he's having with me. Yeah, that's an interesting situation. You got to commentate on a Paul Nazari card, watching him in action. Um, does that give you really good insight into what you're up against? Yeah, a little bit, you know, but I imagine he would have trained harder than ever, grown since then. He's stepping up and, you know, the, the, under these lights, some people crack, some people perform. So it would be interesting to see which one of those he is. He might crack and fall. He might step up and be better than I've ever seen. So I'm prepared for war, man. Like, I'm hungrier than ever. I've trained harder than ever. I'm ready for absolute war. And if he thinks, like, come round one, round two, the pace I'm pushing, that I won't be able to be pushed for eight rounds, is in for, in for a treat. So I think it's going to be a fun one. Uh, George Rose mentioned Nikita Zhu and the possibility of the winner here going through to fight against him. Is that a fight that interests you at this stage? Because I know at other stages it certainly has. Of course. Like, why wouldn't it? You know, he's the Australian champion as well as a good name. Um, and Mizuti Azu has a good ring to it, of course. But, you know, that's in the future. I'm not really... I couldn't give a rat's who I'm fighting tonight, let alone then. Like, right now, it's about me. This is the Mizuti show. I'm focused on what I'm doing. I've grown massively. I love this game. I love fighting. I love hurting people. Uh, and that's what I'm looking forward to do next uh, Wednesday. Yeah, that's a great fight between Cohen Mazzutia and Travis Struis. Round of applause if we could for those two fighters who we will see in action as part of the main event pay-per-view before we head on to this fight between former footy players. It's four three-minute rounds at heavyweight. Curtis Scott on professional debut up against Joey Leilua, who is undefeated as a professional boxer. And I will start with Joey. Um, it seemed that the pair of you really got into each other at the face-off the other day and maybe um, a bit of a, a, a spark was lit there. Do you feel, Joey? Yeah, look... Um... A lot, a lot was said that day, that face-off, but um, I, know, I can go to you one thing. I've got something planned for him on Wednesday night. What have you got planned for him, Joey? Because everyone has an opinion on this fight, and I'm sure you're sick of hearing them, but what do you plan to do? Just wait until Wednesday. Well, we will wait till Wednesday. <laughs> what about between now and then? Uh, any fireworks, do you think, at today's press conference, when you face off, or tomorrow's weigh-in? <laughs> no, nah, I hope not. <laughs> there won't be a fight ahead then. <laughs> what did you make of him? And I, I know you tried to play it down, but watching him move around, because we haven't seen him in a professional boxing ring because he hasn't been in one before, but we did at the open workout get to see him throw a few punches at least. What did you think when you had a look? Uh, my honest opinion, I didn't really think much of him, but I know he, he probably won't back down, but um, he looked very stiff. But for me, he was going to go in there and box. That's what I'm going to do. And Wednesday, you'll find out what what the um, conclusion is that 
I'll be walking out there ring my hand up. George Rose says he can't see it getting past two minutes. Do you agree with that? <laughs> Big boy, eh? <laughs> yeah, good on him. <laughs> Fair enough. Two um, minutes, two minutes. Come on, man. Out of yeah, the um, face-off and everything that was said, Joey, is there anything you'd like to bring back up and maybe retort to Curtis Scott about now? Because everyone's had a look at that clip that came out over the weekend. Anything there that's sort of stuck with you? Yeah, there was a couple of things that stuck with me, but I wouldn't go personal to it because um, we all know why he's here and he's not in the NRL. So if he wanted to go down that path, I think, well, it would be um, a bit disrespectful. And you can watch the whole thing, the face-off between Joey Leilua and Curtis Scott immediately after this press conference on Fox Sports. We also did a face-off with Sam Goodman and Mark Schleibs, which you can have a look at as well. Um, just final words from you, Joey. Tell us what happens in this final Wednesday night. You see Wednesday night. <laughs> That's Joey Leilua. He takes on this man, Curtis Scott. Um, how do you feel about the fact that in a couple of days, Curtis, you'll be making your professional boxing debut? I know you've wanted to do this for quite some time, but now that it's so close, uh, how does it feel? I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Just sit into the microphone there for us, Curtis, if you could. But um, what did you feel about the face-off and everything that went down and all that was said between the pair of you? Because I know you've tried to be reasonably respectful and, and quiet in the build-up to this, but that all seemed to go out the window the other day. Yeah, we were sitting face-to-face. -face. Um, obviously, we don't like each other. Uh, we're preparing, preparing to knock each other out. So, um, you know, it was a surreal feeling, seeing night eye with a person that's trying to take my head off and I'm trying to take off his. So, um, yeah, it was good. Yeah, you say you don't like each other. Where does that stem from? Um, we got a bit of a taste of it in that conversation, but where exactly did that start? Well, if you just listen to the bloke for two seconds, he does everyone's head in already. So, you know, I'm, I've got the pleasure to take it off, so I'm looking forward to that. Do you think people want to see you do that? Is that your opinion, your impression from talking to maybe fellow NRL players and uh, people around? They want to see you take his head off? Look, that's what we're here for. We're here to entertain, and um, that's what we're both going into to do. So that's it. And what does this mean to you, a victory in a fight like this? Is this the start of something for you? Do you plan on, on making this a career? Yeah, look, I've got, you know, I've set my standards high and, um, you know, I've got goals I want to achieve. So this is just the first person I have to put in a body bag and that's it. And your final words, your prediction and your thoughts on what we'll see on Wednesday night between yourself and Joey? I'm excited. I'm ready to go. Joey's found something very funny. What's happened, Joey? <laughs> Fuck it now. <laughs> not, not impressed? The body bag. <laughs> the body bag comment? What, what do you, what do you think about that? Walk soon, boiler fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it now. Man, you're so stupid. They I don't even understand what you're saying. You're just mumbling, dribbling shit. I can't shit. wait to get my hands on it, man. Shit. You talk about feeling his arms. Everyone feel his stomach as well. Soft as all fuck. <laughs> it's soft. <laughs> Why not feel his, be feel his be belly? It's it. <laughs> this kid. All right, we're all done, boys. Yeah. Curtis Scott and Joey Leilu are the footy players. You'll see them in action in the third last of our fights, which takes us to the co-main event. And we mentioned the knockout records of these two fighters, two highly credentialed middleweights who are fighting for rankings in the WBO. Andre Saavedra joins us from Venezuela via Mexico. Isaac Hardman, of course, the head splitter, is his opponent. But we'll start with the visitor who joins us down the end of the table and he will have his translator Gonzalo uh, to help us out. Um, firstly, Andrew, welcome. Um, how's his journey been to Australia and how's he feeling physically ahead of a massive fight? Muchas gracias por la bienvenida a, a Australia. La verdad que muy grato el recibimiento de que llegamos eh, y pues con muchas ganas de, de ya com competir y demostrar el trabajo que hicimos en el gimnasio. Thank you very much for such a good welcome. Uh, I feel very welcomed here in Australia. Uh, the trip went well, and I'm really looking forward to competing this uh, Wednesday. What does he know about Isaac Hardman? I'm sure he's watched a fair bit in recent times. What does he think? Sí, claro. Eh, una vez ya que me dieron fecha para la pelea, estuve eh, investigando un poco a Harman, la verdad que es un boxeador eh, muy fuerte, eh, hay que reconocerlo, pero bueno, nosotros también tenemos nuestras cualidades y, y venimos con, con esas ganas, con ese deseo de salir triunfador, 
y el este miércoles estaremos dando guerra en el ring. Uh, yeah, once I knew that, that I was going to be fighting with him, I investigated, I researched, I did my research, and he's a very strong, a strong boxer, that needs to be said. I also need to say that I have my qualities and I'm really looking forward to beat him. Isaac Hardman's predicted a knockout. What's the expectation from Andrew Saavedra or his response to the fact that Isaac says he's knocking him out? Bueno, eso, eso es lo que todos dicen a, a la hora de, de combatir. Eh, es el deseo de todo boxeador, pero nosotros también venimos con esas mismas ganas, con ese mismo deseo de, de hacer, de noquear a, a Harman, de darle una buena clase de boxeo y arruinarle la fiesta acá en, en, en su casa ante su gente. Yeah, that's, that's what they all say when, when we are going to compete, that they are going to eh, knock me out. But that's the desire I have. I have that desire. I want to give him a good lesson of how to box, and I, and I feel I'm going to be kicking him out on Wednesday. All right, thank you so much, Endry and Gonzalo. Um, Isaac, I know you fancy you've got a bit of Spanish there. Can you throw something at Endry, uh, perhaps? I've got a little bit. It's not as good as that, but you know. <laughs> hola, como estas, amigo? <laughs> oh, hola. Says, All right. George, you should have saved the money and put the money in my back pocket for the translator. <laughs> that's it? That's all you got? No, nah, that's all I got. Okay. <laughs> no, hablo uh, espanol. <laughs> um, he's a big dude. Are you surprised by him turning up physically looking like that? Uh, I've got me thongs on. He's got three inches of Nike tread on him. So, um, uh, yeah, it's so-so. Doesn't matter too much. So who will be the bigger man in the ring then, no, like, assuming me, you're both I'll wearing be. the same footwear? I will be, I reckon. For sure, I'll be fuller, that's for sure. I'll bounce back to about 82 kilos tomorrow. Oh, Thursday, Wednesday. Fuck, <laughs> one of those days. <laughs> um, how's the prep been for this one? Another international opponent, um, an, another unknown really for you because there's not a, a heap around on him. Uh, what has it been like preparing for this Yeah, fight? prep's been good. I've been getting some really good rounds in with heaps of people, so I'm, I'm stoked with the rounds i got. Me and Blair get better every camp, so... Um, yeah, I'm excited about another international and, you know, third in a row. Mexican, they're, you know, they're fighting nation, so he's going to come forward. He's proud. He's coming all the way here to Australia to take take me out. So um, I'm excited for that. And, you know, the middleweight division was a little bit dead, and that's why we had to give this bloke. But, you know, it's a few um, fishes swimming around in the pond now. We've got Andre Mikhailovich signed to um, No Limit now, and Mateo Tapp is signed as well. Um, and there's another bloke, Camel Tower, but he's a he's selling new memberships. But um, I got this this guy in front of me first. I'll get that done, and then we can suss out something else afterwards. Do you feel the pressure to produce something spectacular? Because we've seen it from you before, and you know George is asking for it there, and everyone wants to see the head splitter be the head splitter. No, no pressure. It's just um, I'm an exciting fighter, and it just comes. You know, no pressure, but. Um, you know, he's, we both got 15 wins, I've got 13 knockouts, he's got 12 knockouts, so it's fair to say someone's getting chinned come uh, Wednesday night and it's not going to be me, it's going to be that bloke. And do you have a message to the people of Wollongong or, or to Sam uh, about his fan base getting on nah, board? Nah, all I want to say, there's not much of the Mad Bunch here, but Mad Bunch, pack your popcorn, get your Coronas, let's hope Andrew over here packs his cajones, um, and once I've hit him with the uno dos adios, We'll sit back up, sing some tins, and watch Sammy Goodman punch his mouthpiece from Melbourne. Let's head in. That's about it. Is that your expectation for the main fight? That's, that's my expectation, that's for sure. All right, thank you, Isaac Hardman. Cannot wait for that. That's the co-main event. Two knockout artists in a really big middleweight contest. And it takes us to the main event of the evening on Wednesday night. It is Sam Goodman, number one in the world at Super Bantamweight with the IBF and the WBO. He takes on Mark Schleibs, who we saw last time out with a knockout of the year contender and who has been full of excitement and interest throughout the build-up to this. Mark, good to see you again. How do you feel being back here in Wollongong again, where you've pretty much got everyone offside? Yeah, look, you know, I'd like to thank God for this opportunity. Yeah, your home to uh, hometown boys back. You know, I've... Um, I've done all the legwork on this promotion. I feel, uh, feel a lot better than I look, to be honest. Um, and I, I'm excited for Wednesday night, and I can't wait to put on a show. How do you think they feel about you, the people of Wollongong? You've had comments about Sam, yeah. about Alex <laughs> Volkanovsky, about the city itself. Oh, look, you know, um, obviously we're, I'm, in, uh, I'm in enemy ter territory, but 
I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm here to win the, the crowd over. I can't wait to get in there, um, show show the fans what I who I am and how hard I've been working. I I know for Sam, you know, all the pressure's on him. There's uh, there's no pressure on me. I'm relaxed. I'm calm. I'm ready to go, and I can't wait. He slapped you last time that you were here, and we had a face-off the other day. A lot was said there. The open workout, you clashed again. Um, do you think you're in his head? Of course I'm in his head. It's obvious, you know. Um, you have a look at him, mate. His eyes are coming out his head, you know. He looks like a dead set zombie, and I'm dead set glowing. So I can't wait to punch his head in. You can't spit out a word right now, you what? idiot. <laughs> you can't spit out a word right now, you clown. You sound like you're struggling for weight more than me. Nah, mate. Come on, pal. You wish, bro. You wish. Do you expect, Mark, when you look at this fight and you've thought about this fight, something similar to what we saw last time from you, that huge shot that put him yeah, down look, and out? Yeah, look, you know, I, I feel a lot of people haven't seen my full potential. You know, I've got this fight now. You know, I've, I've, got, the, I've got the opportunity to show the world who I am and how good I am. I believe, I, you know, it's, it's taken a lot of self-belief, uh, sacrifice to get to this point. Um, you know, apparently Volk's not coming to see you either, mate, because uh, your own people don't want to watch it. Get knocked out, bub. Is that right? Volk's not coming. Oh, apparently, yeah. That's what I heard, mate. Do you have a message for Volk? I don't know if he's watching. Yeah, I'm going to smash uh, Sam Goodman mate, Wednesday night. <laughs> and what about a message for Sam himself? Because he's sitting up here. Do you have any final words to say? Oh, look, mate, Sam's been on mute the whole promotion. You know, he, he only arcs up when he's, in, he's at home. So I don't expect much from Sam. Um, you know, Wednesday night, I'm going to show the fans who I am. Uh, all the talking's been done. You know, um, I'm here now, and I can't wait to go. I can't wait to get in there. Sam Goodman, what do you want to say about Mark Schleibs? Because uh, he's been very vocal in the lead up to this fight. Uh, how's it sat with you? Ah, oh, look, he's just a mouthpiece, but um, <laughs> he's just gone on the whole the whole time. But look, um, look, everyone thinks it's getting under his skin. What he says is pretty pretty minor. It's like arguing with a four year old, to be honest. So. Look, um, I'll just let him carry on, let him let him do what he does, and you know he'll turn up on Wednesday night, and yeah, he'll get splattered. So uh, that's all that I've got to say about Mark Schleibs. You're going to face off here in a minute. Um, does George have to be a bit more on his game today? Oh, I don't think I so. I dare you, bro. I dare you. <laughs> I dare you. He's just a mouthpiece, but um, just that mouthpiece, my man. Let, let him carry on. There, I'm just that mouthpiece. Put some tea ends on, mate. You look like one of the boys from the area. Put some tea ends on. All you're missing is some sunnies. He's just like arguing with a four-year-old yeah, man. It's a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a child. So look, he um he's gonna shit himself on Wednesday night like he did when we done the face-off. He didn't say yeah, mate. Like didn't I say shit, like you shit yourself in the ring. In front of him, your feet are stuck in mud. On the day, you you so, couldn't. Look, hey, in the ring, mate, when you're shadow boxing, if you bring that Wednesday night, you're getting stopped in one round. Oh look, he's you couldn't even move your feet. Him, he, he's acting like he's actually stopped real fighters. He stopped nobody. So look, um, oh, oh, yeah. he's getting called a knockout artist and this and that. He was saying his best fight. No disrespect to Robert Trigg, but his best win was against Robert Trigg. Like, yeah, my best win is going to be the, you next Wednesday. What about the comments about Volkanovski? He's had him again today. How does that sit with you? <laughs> he's just a fuckwit. Like, there's no <laughs> other way to put it. Like, what Volk's done and what he's done, he's a clown. So he shouldn't even be uh, talking in the same sentence as uh, Alex Volkanovski. Tell us about what it's like for you to come back here to Wollongong. And I know you've wanted a big fight here for quite some time, but you're headlining on main events on a pay-per-view show here in your hometown of Wollongong. That must be incredibly exciting. Yeah, it's, it's massive. So it's, uh, it's something I've, I've dreamt of doing for a long, long time. It wasn't too long ago I was pouring beers over the road, you know. So it's, uh, I've come a long way and I've worked really hard for this opportunity. But look, I, I'm ready. I, I've, I feel like, um, you know, we're, we've built myself to the point where I'm ready to take on these shows and, and have these big fights. So look, I'm, I'm excited and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm keen as to get to Wednesday. Um, George was talking about potentially bringing out Noya in a way to, here to Australia to defend his world titles over the road at the stadium. Um, that must cause some sort of a tingle for you. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it, it wasn't too long ago I was, I was saying you'd need Volk with me to sell out that stadium, but uh, a guy like Adelaide... You need me to sell like out that. this stadium. You need me to sell this stadium, mate. You haven't sold 50 tickets. No one's, hey, no one's watching you, You haven't you, sold bro. 50 tickets. No one's watching you. We don't know about tickets. You ticket, mate. You I'm Mr. Pay-Per-View, bro. You haven't sold a pay-per-view. I sell pay-per-view. Everyone's not here you, to watch you get smashed. Just oh, shut yeah, want to get smashed. Right? Here he goes. Mark him uh, now. Going on again. He's how's that weight cut going? you got two fights coming up. You can't even spit out a word. wake up first and then Your mum the whole time over there. You're an idiot.
Oh yeah. yeah. Listen to you. Oh yeah. yeah. There we go. I'll let so, him have the, fast, the last word before. Do you have anything final to say to Mark or to the people watching? You've been people quiet for two up? weeks. Oh, mate, he's, I've got nothing to say with him. Oh, <laughs> honestly, he's going to see what I do on Wednesday night. I'm going to show up and I'm going to beat his head in. So, look, uh, he's going to be ready for wait. that. And he's going to be, uh, yeah, just turn up. Oh, mate, I'm here. Yeah, you never turn I'm up. I'm here, mate. Fight night, you never turn up. Fight night? What are you on about, bro? What are you on about? Every time you stepped up, I've said it many times. Every and time what, I didn't turn up, up there to fight? Smashed. You've got smashed. Listen to you. It's truth. Bro, what? I didn't turn up to fight. <laughs> yeah, you bro, turned you up goose. and you got smashed. Like you're going to on Wednesday night. Yeah, you've I carried on wait. all yeah, this yeah. time and you're going to get smashed again. Yeah, That's all there is to it. Yeah, mate. Back to prelims or RSL shows for you, mate. All right, we'll finish it there. So that is the main event. Sam Goodman, Mark Schleaves, and you've seen a fair portion of this card that you will see, of course, on Wednesday night. It's live on main event from 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time, the pay-per-view. The prelims start at 5.30, but get here to the Wollongong Entertainment Centre if you possibly can. We're going to face off a few of these fights now. George, if you want to take your position over here, we might get Isaac and Henry Saavedra to face off first of all. And Curtis and Joey, if you want to make your way to the top, we'll face you I might you need to get off Kiki up here on stage well too to help me out. Straight after that, and then we'll get Sam Goodman and Mark Schleaves. But first of all, this is our middleweight fight between Isaac Hardman, the head splitter from Queensland, and Henry Saavedra from Venezuela via Mexico. Let's hear it for the middleweights. That is our co-main event that you'll see on Wednesday night on main event. Next up, we're going to face off Curtis Scott and Joey Leilua. Curtis Scott on professional boxing debut. Joey Leilua undefeated as a pro, ahead of what has turned into a grudge match. Let's hear it for Scott and Leilua. And that takes us to the main event. It is Sam Goodman and Mark Schleaves. Our super bantamweight main event. It is Sam Goodman and Mark Schleaves. All right, Sam, Mark, do you want to face the front? George, you might want to spin him around. Round of applause if we could for all the fighters on this card. We'll see you tomorrow at the weigh-in then. Wednesday, at the fights.